So we're ready to talk about converting um, volume in one unit to volume in another unit. So we're going to keep it sort of simple with just metric, but nonetheless, um, this is going to require an extra step beyond just what you might have learned off of that reference sheet. Uh, here's what I mean. Okay, suppose you're looking at a, a cube in centimeters, four centimeters on each side, okay? So that means it's going to be four centimeters, four centimeters, four centimeters, four centimeters in all dimensions. Um, so you can find the volume of that cube, and suppose I want you to go from centimeters cubed to meters cubed. Okay, you may know that there's 100 centimeters in a meter, but you probably don't know how many cubic centimeters are in a cubic meter. It's not the same. In fact, guaranteed way to get this problem wrong would be to just say 100 cubic centimeters to a cubic meter. So. Let's talk about how you would approach this. And the first thing you've got to do, of course, is find the volume of the cube in cubic centimeters, which is what's been given. So as we look at this, being that it's 4 times 4 times 4, you did the width, time, width times the length times the height of the cube um, will give you the volume. So 4 times 4 times 4, or rather 4 centimeters times 4 centimeters times 4 centimeters, that'll give you the volume of the cube, which is 64 cubic centimeters. All right, so if you have cubic, 64 cubic centimeters of volume, now you want to say, okay, how do you get from cubic centimeters to cubic meters? So let's start with just the units, looking at what we have to do with the units. So if you're given some number of cubic centimeters in general, you need to multiply it by some conversion factor that will give you a final answer of cubic meters. Okay, now that conversion factor is going to need to have cubic centimeters on the bottom, that way cubic centimeters cancels cubic centimeters and it goes away. And cubic meters on top, that way it winds up in your final answer where it needs to be. Um, that being said and done, okay, now we need to figure out what is the relationship between cubic meters and cubic centimeters. Okay, at this point all we know is that, uh, okay, that there is a relationship between meters and centimeters where one meter is 100 centimeters. Okay, fine, but a meter is different from a cubic meter and a centimeter is different from a cubic centimeter. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take advantage of the fact that a unit can behave like a number, just as units can cancel. If you square a unit, you'll have like the unit squared. If you cube a unit, you'll have the unit cubed. So here's what I mean. Just as like 5 times 5 is times 5 would be like 5 cubed, well, same thing for centimeters. Centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, as you see here, gives centimeters cubed. So that's what I'm going to do here. If I cube this entire relationship, then I can go from meters per centimeter or centimeters per meter to cubic meters per cubic centimeter or cubic centimeters per cubic meter. So here's what I'll we'll do. I'll cube the entire relationship. That way I'll have cubic meters and cubic centimeters. Now what you do, what this means is you've got to cube everything inside these parentheses. So, okay, that means one cubed meters cubed, okay, notice how I'm cubing everything, um, over 100 cubed centimeters cubed. Okay, now we've got the right units, but let's see, let's put this in another form that's a little bit easier to interpret. Okay, that's one cubic meter is equal to and 100 cubed centimeters cubed. Okay, 100 cubed, that's one million centimeters cubed. Okay, so one cubic meter is a million cubic centimeters. Now I've got the relationship necessary to get me from my original cubic centimeters over there to the cubic meters I'm trying to find for the answer. So here we go. One cubic meter is a million cubic centimeters. I'll take the number I originally had, 64 cubic centimeters, and now I'm ready to go. 64 times 1 divided by a million. Okay, so 64 divided by a million, and uh, it comes out that your calculator will spit out something like 0 0.000064. Okay, which is fine, that's kind of an ugly decimal, so let's clean that up and use, and, uh, use scientific notation. Okay, so you got to move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces. So we're going to call that 6.4 times 10 to the negative fifth cubic meters, and that will be our final answer.